Hello guys, so today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute abs and glutes workout. So we're going to do 10 minutes at the start of pure core and 10 minutes at the end of pure booty. So it's going to be an all round burner, it's going to be so much fun and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so let's get started with our first core exercise. You're going to be lying on your back, you're going to have your legs out in front of you, arms overhead and you're going to come up and tap the opposite heel, then release and then go to the opposite side, okay? So it's alternating jackknife heel taps, which we will start doing in three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice. So this is gonna be a no repeat workout. So every exercise will be new, it'll be different, it'll be exciting, and hopefully you enjoy it. So, let's smash it guys. 10 minutes of pure core. All the way. Last five. Three, two, and one. Okay, your next exercise. You're gonna bend your knees. I'm just looking a little bit further down the mat. You're gonna go half sit up, full sit up. So a crunch to a sit up basically. Let's go. So from the ground, halfway up, back down, all the way up, tap your toes. Nice. Halfway up, back down, all the way up, tap your toes. Ooh, that is spicy. Halfway up, all the way up, deep core burn that one guys, deep core burn, Woo. 10 seconds, I'm right here with you, all the way to the end, come on, and rest, okay next up you're staying on your back, you're going to bring your legs into tabletop and we're going to do a dead bug variation. So get ready to go in this position. Three, two, and one. Place your right hand on your right knee, left hand and leg extend. And you're going to alternate sides. You're going to be pushing down with this hand into the knee to really engage through the core. Guys, this is such a tough dead bug variation. As long as you're actually putting some pressure through that knee, you're really going to feel that challenge in your core, okay? I'm just going to move down this way a little bit, because I'm hitting my poor plant. He gets abused in these, <laughs> in these videos, don't you babes? I'm sorry. Come on. And rest. Okay, next up we have some cross body crunches. So, you're going to place your right ankle on your left knee, place your hands behind your head, and you're going to bring your left elbow up to your right knee. Let's go. Left elbow to right knee. Lifting those shoulder blades off the ground. Relaxing your head back into your hands, so your neck isn't doing the work. Oh, it's a burner. I kind of love this exercise though. Figure four cross body crunch. That's a good one. Come on guys. Three, two, and one. Just going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So pop your right ankle on your left no, your left ankle on your right knee, and then we're going to switch sides. Woo! Get ready. Let's go. Ah. Oh. We got this. Lifting that shoulder blade up, off the ground. Really good, guys. Ooh. 
10 seconds. Engage that core, lift yourself up. All the way. Rest. So that is five exercises down of our core section, five to go. We're going to come up into a high plank position and do spider planks, okay? So come into that high plank for me in three, two, and one. So from here, your spider plank position is bringing basically your right knee up to your right elbow and releasing. Left knee, left elbow. Nice. This is really good for engaging into your obliques. If it's too hard, guys, you can always come into a plank position like so. And it's still, this still really works into your obliques. It's kind of like an oblique crunch rather than a plank spider, okay? Let's go. Last four, three, two, one. Down onto your back. Woo! I'm sweating. I'm literally sweating. We're gonna do a bicycle crunch. So hands behind your head. And go. So what you're gonna do, come into a tabletop position from here, nice and slowly. Right up, left elbow to right knee, back to centre, and switch sides. I find that Bicycle crunches done nice and slowly burn my core much more than a, a fast bicycle crunch, you know? Nice and slow. Sorry if you can hear any construction going on. My neighbours are going off. They're going at it. 10 seconds. Whew. Three. Two, one. Okay, so next up we're going to do a hollow body hold. There's so many variations of this based on your strength and your ability, but I'm going to show you kind of like a medium intermediate. So, on your back, bring your legs into tabletop, put your hands by your side here. Now this is the beginner, bringing your knees a little bit closer to your chest, this is the beginner position. The further you take your knees away from you, the harder the hold gets. If you then took your legs straight down, you serious, you strong, okay? <laughs> I like to go to sort of like a middle ground and then if your neck feels too taut, tight, you can just put one hand behind your head and you should be feeling this pulling into your lower core, okay? So lift that chest up, lower those legs down and take it to that point where you feel like your core is shaking, okay? Right now, my lower abs are quivering. All right, three, two and one now that was not my bum by the way if you just heard the noise my mat is doing that farting thing that it does when I get sweaty love that for me so let's do a sit back to the Pilates exercise so coming up to a seated position hands in front of you let's go sit back until your core switches on raise your hands up lower them down and sit up nice so sit back arms up arms down release really good guys make sure you're keeping your feet on the floor even as you raise your arms okay if you can't just bring them halfway up and down rather than going all the way above your head but if you can bring them up with me guys come on <laughs> Woo! we got this let's go three two and one okay we're gonna do a sprinter crunch i feel like my back is gonna make a farting noise again but we're just gonna roll with it okay guys all friends here so come down lying flat on your back you're gonna sit all the way up and twist like so let's go alternating sides sprinter sit-ups oh somebody's car alarm is going off <laughs> come on london you can't do this to me. You cannot do this to me. We'll finish this exercise together and then I'll go close the window so hopefully we can't hear that car alarm. You've got 20 more seconds, come on. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the car alarm's gone off. 
Yay. Thank you, London. Thank you very much. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, that is core done. Let's go into glutes. So come onto your back. We're just going to go into a standard hip thrust to start in five seconds. Three, two, and one. From here, push those hips up to the sky, squeeze the glutes, and release. This is your first exercise. Bog standard hip thrust, okay? They do the job. So I'm just going to switch this. There we go. Thrust and down. So what I don't want to see is thrusting like this when you push your ribs up, okay guys? Push your ribs down, engage the core, and you're just using your glutes and your lower back doesn't get involved. Woo! We're getting that booty going. 10 minutes of pure glutes. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Okay, so rest, and next up you're gonna to come to the top of that bridge and just pulse, okay? So down, up, down, up, down, up, half reps for 45 seconds. Whew. Let's go. So come up to the top, ribs down, hips up. From here, halfway down, halfway up. Squeezing the glutes at the top of every rep. So up and squeeze, release halfway. Up and squeeze, release halfway. Got it? Nice. 20 seconds. It should be starting to burn, okay? It should be starting to burn. I'm hoping it is. Come on. Three, two, one. Okay, so next next exercise, you're gonna come all the way up to the top and you're just gonna hold it at the top for 45 seconds. Squeezing those glutes like your life depends on it, okay? Three, two, and one. So from here, push those hips up to the sky. Ribs down, hips up, squeeze the cheeks, and hold. This is a really long time <laughs> to hold a glute bridge. So it's all about mind, over matter guys, mind over matter. Just breathe. Hold it here, don't let those hips drop. Use those glutes to keep you up, to keep you stable. Come on, 15 seconds. Squeeze, can you lift those hips a centimeter higher? Yes you can. 10 seconds, let's go, come on. Last six, five, squeeze, four, higher, three, two, rest, Ooh. okay now place the soles of your feet together, knees out wide, your next exercise is just going to be a frog pump, okay, so it's like a wide legged hip thrust basically, soles of your feet together, three, two, pump and release, pump, release, pump, release, I mean this is an exercise that I perhaps wouldn't do if there was a, a anybody standing directly in front of me. It's quite suggestive, but it does the job. Oh my goodness, this is really burning. This, I find, gets the, the area that is like the joining of my hamstring and my glute. You know, like the underbum. I find that this is where I really feel a frog pump. Right in my underbum. Woo! Come on. After this, I think we're onto all fours. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's come on to all fours. We're going to do your right bum cheek first. So, left elbow da down, right arm up. We're going to go into a standard donkey kick, okay? Donkey kick up and down. So, we're just basically doing this to get that glute mead, glute max firing up on this side. A standard donkey kick, it does the job. Now you can be up here on both hands. I mean, you could be here if you want, but I don't know why, but if I put my left elbow down, I feel like I get more activation. So maybe it's a placebo effect, but I'm doing it, okay, honeys? <laughs> Who knows? 
God, my right bum cheek is on fire already. How are you guys doing? Come on. We've got five minutes left of this workout. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna do two more exercises on this right bum cheek before we switch sides. So we're gonna do a diagonal kick next. So it's like a donkey kick, but kind of diagonal. Rather than straight back, it's gonna be diagonal, okay? Let's go. So diagonally out at 45 degrees to your body. Out and back. Out and back. Wow. This one. This diagonal kick gets me. How does it feel if I'm up here? No, I just feel better down here. I don't know why. <laughs> Guys, this is so, this is burning. This is burning a lot. Woo! Almost down to those last 10 seconds of this exercise, guys. Wow. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go for quadruped circles. So, same leg, final exercise on this leg. Go ready to kick it back into a donkey kick in three, two and one. Kick back into a donkey kick and then circle it round and down. Then take it in the opposite direction and release. That is your circles. Okay guys, we're really working through the maximum range of motion. This burns into all areas of your glute. Okay? And also on the stabilizing leg, so right now your left leg, you get a bit of glute activation. So that's going to get us set up for what we're just about to do on the other side. Okay. Woo! It be burning. It be burning. Wow. Come on. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna turn around. Ho ho. I'm gonna do those three exercises on your left bum cheek. So we're gonna start off with that donkey kick. Guys, this is it. Come into your final section of your workout. Let's go. Now, this bum cheek is going to just take a hot minute to warm up because it's been chilling out a little bit while your other bum cheek's been working. So this donkey kick is hopefully going to get that blood pumping into the bum cheek, into that glute, getting you ready to make it stronger. Nice. Good. Just a bog standard, classic donkey kick. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It does the job. We got this, guys. Considering this is like an isolation workout, I'm sweating so much. <laughs> Woo! Three, two, one. Okay, we've got those diagonal kicks, 45 degrees to your body. I keep touching my bum, sorry. I mean, I'm exercising my bum here. So, <laughs> diagonal kick, get ready to go. Three, two, and one. Woo! 20 minutes of pure core and glutes. I love it. I love it. Good, guys. Woo! Stick with me. Keep going at that 45 degree angle. Wow! Burn in. I hope you're burning too because right now my glue is on fire. Guys, three, two, ah, one. Okay, final exercise, circles on the left glute. And then we're done. Let's smash it, guys. Let's smash it. Three, two, and one. So kick it back and then circle all the way around and then reverse that movement. Nice. Back, circle. How big can you make that circle? Good guys, full range of motion. Children screaming outside, welcome to London. 
Come on. Ten seconds. Come on, Zana. Come on, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Oh, my goodness. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's glutes and core workout. It was definitely a little bit of a burner. If you did, make sure you hit thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you super soon. Have a good day. Bye.